five fundamental areas of shared priorities or our common focus. Reducing backlogs and supporting our health workers, enhancing access to family health services, improving mental health services, helping Canadians age in dignity, and modernizing our health care system, in part through a better use of data to save lives and increase the quality of care to Canadians. As the Prime Minister has said, we are confident that we're going to get to a good place. I'm personally very optimistic and I'm looking forward to significant and positive developments in the weeks ahead. There has been um, significant progress uh, over the last few weeks. Uh, I'm positive and optimistic as the Prime Minister is also, as he has signaled earlier uh, this week. And that's because we have seen a shift uh, uh, towards a, f a focus on what matters to Canadians, which are results, results for uh, patients and, and health care workers. Uh, that's what people want, and that's what I believe uh, Premiers also want uh, now, and, and, and that's great uh, news for everyone uh, across our country. And great news, I, I believe, I would also add for the health ministers, my colleagues, who've worked so hard in the last uh, year uh, with me and many others, uh, experts and, and partners across our country, to, to signal how much more we need to do together to achieve the right results for people in the short, but equally importantly, in the longer term. Because I might add, uh, in passing, that what we're seeing now is obviously uh, to a large extent caused by the impact, the severe impact of COVID-19 in the last years. But the pressure on healthcare workers has been there for many years, and that pressure will increase over the years to come. So we need to secure uh, investments in the healthcare system so that we can maintain the publicly funded and equitably access accessible healthcare system that so many people want to uh, maintain in this country.